So, uh, Talima, thank you for taking the time uh, to join me. First of all, um, one thing that we've spoken about quite a lot on the show that we do is the charity work that you and your family do in the community, from the uh, Women's Refuge right through to Sands. You um, auctioned off your winner's ring. Yeah. First of all, I believe you're on the verge of going to shave your hair off at some point this year. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we haven't really put a, a date on it yet, but I think hopefully soon. Um, my wife Anne, she's doing a lot for um, you know mental illness and stuff like that. So it's for a good cause, and I think it's time for a new look for myself anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll come on to one question that I asked Sarge and, and Joe uh, before was if um, if you could personify yourself as a footballer, bearing in mind that you're playing at Newcamp, it doesn't have to be a Barcelona player. I've got a footballer in mind, but what footballer would you say that you are most like? Oh, Ronaldinho. <laughs> oh, wait, does that have to be prison? No, no, oh, no, it can be any any sort of footballer, Premier League, whatever, you you can pick. Um, Bear in mind, you come off the bench quite a lot. Yeah, Impact that's player. true. To be honest, I don't really know a lot of footballers. Okay. You're a Man United fan though, are you? Yeah. Okay. But at training, everyone calls me Ronaldinho because I've got like, the best skill out of everyone. Is so. that right? Yeah. Or, okay. I mean, I was going more around the sort of Fellaini line. Cause Fellaini, yeah, his hair come and off everything. the pitch and he's just shaved yeah. his hair as well. Uh, has he really? Yeah, yeah, he's got no hair now. Oh, the afro's right. gone, so... I didn't know that. Yeah, and he's... Yeah. But yeah, I just thought that, that might be the player that you sort of went to. But Ronaldinho, okay. So you're Ronald, a, well, that's what everyone calls okay, me, so... Fair, fair enough. <laughs> um, how much are you looking forward to the opportunity of playing at um, the new Camp? I mean, it's, it's got to be an opportunity that, as a rugby league player, you would never have thought would happen. Yeah, definitely. Um, to be honest, like it's one of those perks for playing rugby league. You know, we get to like travel the world, get to play at awesome stadiums, not just that, but... Um, you know, we get to play Liverpool as well this year for yeah. the Magic Weekend. So yeah. that's something that a lot of people have never done before. So I consider it pretty a cool honour and a privilege to play there. I mean, you go from like the new Camp to Anfield and a few weeks later you go to Castleford. So, yeah. um, it's different. That's something you obviously <laughs> have to take the good or the bad. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think for us, we'll probably get there a bit early, kind of yeah. like explore the stadium for a bit. But then... You know, once the whistle goes, it's back to normal business. You bring your Ronaldinho skills out on the new. Company. Yeah, I will. You're going to take a football on there 100%. as well. Hundred yeah, percent. You have to. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, World Club Challenge um, coming up against the Roosters. Cooper Cronk rumored to be coming over as well. How big an opportunity is that to challenge yourself against the best in the world? Oh, no, it's going to be a very, very big challenge. Yeah. Um, you know, all the boys have been working very, very hard this year, um, especially during um, off season. So it kind of be like a good a good way for us to kind of gauge where we are as a team and also individually as well. Um, but, you know, we haven't really spoken about it yet uh, okay. as much um, yet. We're kind of concentrating on uh, round one. We know, obviously, got Saints. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's a pretty big thing, you know, opening a round um, to play against your kind of rivals. So yeah. it's, um, it's exciting and that's what everyone's